insulated tornadoes are possible tomorrow across portions of the Midwest. We're tracking a potential for severe weather today, tomorrow, and especially Sunday across portions of the Midwest. Tomorrow there's already a tornado chance for portions of South Dakota and Northwestern Iowa. Then on Sunday, we're tracking the same storm system as it moves into portions of the Midwest. It's a busy day here in Southern Wisconsin. We're getting ready, getting ready for several events, as well as I'm trying to get ready here for a storm chase. I've got my adorable daughter. Say hi. Hi. She's been helping me with uh, some of the briefings here. There's a couple of things that are missing from the severe weather setup tomorrow, uh, particularly, um, basically a lot of organization and consistency in the models. But I do think that there's a chance for a tornado out there in portions of eastern South Dakota, uh, northwest Iowa, I think would be the target area, basically right in the middle of that slight risk from the Storm Prediction Center. Sunday's a little bit more conditional. I think the uh, storm system tomorrow, Saturday night, is going to really impact the severe weather threat directly on Sunday. So I'm keeping an eye on it. The uh, bulls. The bullseye for Sunday basically would be right over my house, so I probably wouldn't have to travel far. We're also tracking some systems out there in the tropics. Um, there's uh, two areas that may uh, form into tropical systems here over the next couple of days. Uh, there's one with a higher probability coming right off the coast of Northwest Africa that's traveling into the Atlantic, and that's typically where we see these strong hurricanes develop. Um, in fact, looking on the long range GFS, there's even a, uh, it shows a hurricane impacting the Gulf Coast around August 21st. Now take that very lightly, that's a long ways out. In fact, the GFS model is usually wrong that far out. But we are starting to see some tropical uh, developments uh, in the Atlantic here, so it's absolutely time. Uh, if you live along the Gulf Coast or the uh, Southeast Coast there along Florida, uh, to definitely keep watch because it is tropical storm season and hurricane season, and it's uh, definitely time to get prepared for a hurricane chase. Nothing imminent right now uh, over the next couple of days. Definitely an all clear situation right now. Also, just a heads up, we're going to be doing a new video series here, making it real easy for everyone to understand how to get into storm chasing. I want to thank everybody for watching the video update today. Just a reminder, we've got that threat for severe weather, primarily tomorrow for eastern Nebraska and South Dakota, as far east as central south or south central Minnesota and north central Iowa. Be alert for possible tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds in this area, with hail and tornadoes being most likely the farther west you go early on in the storm life cycle. We'll have more updates on this tomorrow. Then again on Sunday, there's a potential for large hail and damaging winds, maybe an isolated tornado depending on how the atmosphere sets up for severe weather here across portions of Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Illinois. They're there again on Sunday. 